Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, today we live in times where our activities in the physical world are mirrored in the digital one. However, in recent years, we observe that opposite also happens. Our reality is that citizens become more and more influenced by digital behaviors on the internet. That is why the debate on hate speech online is both timely and very necessary. To some it might come as a surprise, but the fact is that the most democratic societies, which often are also the ones with the highest internet connectivity, are the most affected by online hate speech. As the world becomes increasingly connected, the problem of hate speech is not expected to diminish. This is why I highly value the project you are currently engaged with and the topic of today's event. Addressing the problem of hate speech should not mean giving up on our core European values, such as the freedom of speech. Tackling hate speech online should and could not mean censorship, at least not in our liberal democratic societies. In addition, responding to online hate speech through hate speech methods will not bring anything else but more racial, gender or other discrimination and tensions. My take on how to tackle the issue is that of legitimate debate and bringing positive examples to burst myths that hate speech creates. But I am eager to hear your proposal on how to further engage with the issue. I believe that EU institutions are taking the right steps by engaging together with social media representatives in implementing the Code of Conduct on countering illegal hate speech online. In addition, online and traditional media have an immense role to play in dispelling the false facts on which hate speech is based. I very much welcome and support strongly the project Coalition of Positive Messages to Counter Online Hate Speech and look forward to the contributions by all partners and experts who are here in Sofia today. Thank you and best of success in today's discussion.